creative friends, it's Elizabeth Sampson, the Doodle Nurse, and welcome back this week for another cute baby animal watercolor tutorial. Today we are going to create a baby tiger. What you need today is a pencil, an eraser, a fine line water resistant black marker, watercolor pencils, water, and a paintbrush. And if you don't have those, you can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have. Just check out the description box below for the supplies that you'll need here for this tutorial. And when you gather all your supplies, come on and jump on in. So we begin with sketching with our pencil. And as always, I have a mechanical pencil with me today. And we're gonna start with a circle for the head. So just go round with as big as you want the head to be. That's the size circle that you're gonna put on your paper. And then we are going to make a division line where the center is, just on the top and the bottom, so we know where the center of our circle is. So we're gonna make a, another circle for the body or just for the chest area of this tiger. We're gonna make that under the first circle. And if you extend that circle into the first circle you made, you'll have a line for where you wanna place your nose. Okay, so you see I do this here and then I know my nose is gonna go in the center there. I just make an arch for the top and a V for the bottom of the nose. Simple enough. Now I'm gonna make a line straight down from that V and we're gonna curve it around for a circle, just like we did in our cat video. If you haven't seen that, you can hit the description box below for that tutorial. And you made two circles and those are for the cheeks. Now I'm just gonna extend my circle for the head to a oval, okay? And I'm gonna begin with the ears. So this baby tiger has a very wide ears. They're just like an upside down U shape. And you're gonna leave a little space from the center of the head before you start out. Now I start at the cheek and I curve my lines up and this is for the nose, the bridge of the nose. And it's also gonna be the base of our eyes. So you see, I'm gonna start here with a U shape for the eye and another U shape on the other side. You're just gonna angle it the opposite way. Okay, and you'll see why I do that in just a second. And then I'm going to come down from the top corner and I'm going to make the three little lines for the eyelashes or four, whatever you want to put in. I think I did four here. And that is the shape of the eye that we're going to see for our baby tiger. And then I'm going to put another line to distinguish where the eyeball is, just from the bottom here. We're gonna put some highlights in the eyes. You see I put two in the corner and one towards the bottom. And I'll do the same on the other eye, two on the right side and one on the left side. Place these little lines above the eyes as whiskers and you will see I'll put them in later with a gel pen. But they kind of look like little whiskers coming out of the top instead of eyebrows. And then I'm gonna start with the front legs. Okay, so I make a split down the center. That's for the center of the legs go. And then on the outside of my circle that I made for the body or the chest area, I'm gonna start bringing a line and curve it in towards that center line on each side, as you can see, towards the bottom. And then we're gonna make, they look like little, uh, well, oh, okay, the chest area we're gonna do here. So this is just like, uh, a big V, okay? And that area is gonna stay white in the chest. And then we're just gonna, the little paws are going to be like a heart shape of the, on the bottom, two circles actually for the feet, as you can see here. The back legs, we're gonna start halfway down the front leg and we're just gonna make a 
looks like a uh, oval shape coming out the side. Those are the knees. And we're going to come down towards where the paws are for the front and place the same paw for the back legs. So you can see how those look. Now I'm going to make some dots where the whiskers are going to go on those cheek areas. And I'm going to put the inside of the ear. Now when we go to put the pen in, you'll see how I make this look like fur with just a little zigzag pattern. You can see that better with the pen and then inside fur for the ear. Just like I've done in the past tutorials. If you haven't seen those, then by all means hit the description box below and you'll be able to see exactly what I mean on the other tutorials. They're pretty much basically the same. Um, we're just putting different features on the animal that we're drawing. Now I'm just gonna begin making our tiger marks and those are just a zigzag line across as a pattern for our tiger. So I put them on the front legs. As I come down, you see I don't go all the way to the, to the center of the leg. I leave some space there. And I'll do the same for the back legs. And I'll do the same on the face. So on the face, I will start with the lines and just look how I go from the center area by the ears, I just make these little zigzag lines all the way across. Okay, make dimensions, make it look interesting. Um, separate them so it's not one big line across when you put the black ink on. But you'll see I come down that center line for the nose and you'll see how I just make those lines just come down towards the face, towards the center of the nose. And these are just gonna be interesting little tiger lines. Now this drawing is in my sketchbook. I'm going to recreate that on watercolor paper so that we can do our watercolor drawing. But I won't repeat the sketch process. I'll just show you um, as we begin with the ink. So we begin with our water resistant fine line marker in black and I'm just going to repeat the steps I did over. And now you're going to see how I create the fur. As I speed this up, you're going to see how everything plays into, into um, what I've done with the pencil sketch. So it's just going to go fast and you're going to see how it's going to show up. I'll slow it down here so you can just see how I make the lines in the face. And that's just showing you how I'm making all the tiger marks. So you can recreate it exactly as you want by stopping the video and slowing this down, or you can speed things up and just at the end, stop it and look at how I drew these lines. Okay, you do them the way you want them, make it your own. There's no right, there's no wrong, but you can see they're just tiny little zigzag lines for the tiger uh, marks that I make. And I'm going to go all around the face and I'll speed this up. So when you do these little zigzag lines back and forth, it makes it look like fur. And you make it look a little bit fluffy. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you here. And then make sure you go back and erase all your pencil lines once your fine line marker has dried. And now we're going to start with our watercolor pencils. But if you don't have watercolor, by all means, you can use marker, crayons, colored pencils, um, whatever you have to create this look. I love the watercolor pencils because you can layer the colors. So as you see, I am starting with orange and I'm just laying out some areas in orange that I want and then I will go back with another color after that area has dried. I like the watercolor pencils because they're easier for people that are beginning to watercolor. So you put the pencil on where you want it and then you put the water and then when that dries you go to another pencil. So now I'm going to brown for the ears. You can see inside the ear I am shading in the brown color. 
So I just go through and put the highlight areas where I want the brown or low light areas where I want the brown and I water them in. As you can see, I pick up the color with a water brush from the pencil. So I'm not putting the pencil directly on the piece. And that's another technique to use with watercolor pencils. And it does help you control exactly how much you put in. So I think I'm gonna give my little guy a tail as I penciled in just behind him, a nice oblong shape. And we're gonna do the same thing by putting the fine line marker with the tiger stripes. And then we'll just add the watercolor pencils and blend those in. And I put a little shading in the white areas, as you can see, so that it doesn't look so plain. And then we're gonna start off with our white gel pen. Now I use this for the whiskers and to fluff up the fur. So you can see I put this in the ears and I will put this on the face in the areas that I think that needs to appear like it has whiskers. I will also add this to the chest area, the feet area, and anywhere that you see white highlights in the eyes, nose, and along the tail area. And as you can see, I'm just gonna go over and put a little bit of water on my brown pencil or the orange pencil and put that in some of the white areas so it doesn't look so stark. It's really all about layering the colors on the piece and the white areas, white is not normally stark white. So you do have a little bit of shaded in there. So that is why I'm doing this method this way by putting the water on the pencil and just dragging a little bit of color into those white areas. So they look like white areas, but they have a little bit of tint to them, which is exactly what I wanted. So I hope you liked that tutorial today with the little baby tiger in watercolor. If you did, please comment below, give me a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any time I upload a new video. And if there's something you'd like to see special on this channel, by all means, put it in the comment section below. Thank you for coming in, and I look forward to seeing you next week. And check out these two videos here. And don't forget to subscribe.